Let's check out the size of this package. And the first thing I thought someone ordered me like coffee table. Whoo! Guys, I am ecstatic today. The Habu STS 70mm EDF, ready to fly, learner jet. First of its kind. I'm telling you, I know it's January, but it feels like Christmas morning right here, right now. I'm gonna unbox it for all yous, and you can have a look what's inside, and we'll take it from there. A small bit of damage on the box, not much, but guess what? I'm not living in this box. I only care what's in the box. Oh yes. Extremely well packed. They even give you batteries for your transmitter. Very rare. It's a 3S 4000 milliamp. But smart technology batteries, these are the way forward. Smart charger. But yeah, that's the battery. The USB key actually is a flight simulator. Which allows you to fly this off the transmitter that has been given to you. You plug this little puppy into your laptop and you can even practice flying this, this beautiful jet in these kind of maneuvers without actually crashing your real one. These are the modes, as you can see, beginner, intermediate, and experience. That's the main reason right there. Safe technology, AS3X. Very nice. We have the main fuselage. This is the tail fin, and this is the tail. Transmitter, and and yes, canopy. We're no other than a fighter jet pilot on standby. This is the Spectrum DXS transmitter that comes with the ready to fly version. Plenty of space for 3S, 4S, AS3X, 70 millimeter EDF power unit. Oh, can't wait to have a shot. Batteries in, canopy down. Pop a close to open this button here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Very robust landing gear, so it's safe to say you can take off from many surfaces. There we have it, guys. This is the ready to fly version. Comes with everything you need. Guys, the wing and the fuselage has to be upside down to fit. It's going to go like this. You have 350 mils you're only going to use two one on the front one on the back and then the 25 mils on each side if you're unsure these are the screws that come with it they actually match up to your diagram perfectly so just to know i'll have this put together for you won't bore you with putting screws in there we have it guys four screws two of the bigger ones here the second size in there this next is the steerable landing gear i've already connected it it's just color code Brown to brown, red to red, orange to orange. It's a no brainer. But make sure this air vent is facing forward. It's to kill down your ESCs during flight. Okay, eight screws to go in there. It's these puppies, it's the smallest screws that come with it. In case you don't know guys, these screws are extremely small. And just as well, it was Christmas last month, given it's January now. And in a Christmas cracker, I kept these little tiny screwdrivers. This one is small, but it still won't fit these. So when you're, next time you pop that Christmas cracker, keep in mind, while doing the front nose steerable gear, these screws are extremely small, and this is the smallest screwdriver that I have out of a Christmas cracker. I rung the first one, so what I'm using now is a pliers to bore each hole, so it's easier for these tiny screws to go in without ringing them. It's just a quick tip. The pliers, use one, bore all the holes with that one, and then they should all go in like a piece of cake. It's the eight bolts done with a bit of help from Z players. Straight down in this hole and swivel in. So far, so good. These are very well marked out. Elevator and rudder. These are marked also. Your 2.5 by 8 millimeter screws go in here and here. And then the nose cone 
inserts there and is held on with that sticky tape. Guys, when assembling the vertical fin, just make sure that servo piece right, right there is angled out, not stuck in here. And then it's just three screws. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. When installing this part, guys, bottom to bottom, as shown, bottom to bottom. My little tip is a little bit of sellotape. Stick it here, just to hold it dead straight, exactly where you want it, so so you can line up this perfectly. All that is left now is put the battery in center of gravity, and put the canopy on, and there you go, ready to fly. Habu STS 70 millimeter ADF, ready to fly jet, absolutely beautiful. And that's a jet, baby.